Hey guys, Merci Academy here. In this video, I will show you how to lock a resource group to protect it from an accidental user deletion using the PowerShell in Visual Studio Code. I have installed the Azure AZ PowerShell module in Visual Studio on my local machine. I will put the download links in the description section, also with my previous video on how to lock the resource group and storage account using the Azure portal. I recommend watching it before this video. So let's get started. So once you open Visual Studio Code, you're going to click on Terminal right here and click New Terminal. To start working with the Azure PowerShell, we have to sign in. We're going to use the command Connect AZ Account. Let's go ahead and tap it. Connect AZ Account. And let's press Enter. It's going to open another page. Now we have to sign in. I already have my account ready to go, so I'm going to select this one here. Et voilà, as you can see, I was able to sign into my account. Now we're going to create an empty resource group using the PowerShell. So the command is going to be new AZ resource group. So let's go ahead and tap it. New AZ resource group. And now let's provide the name. We're going to call it RG01. Now let's provide the location. It's going to be East US. Let's press enter. Et voilà, as you can see, I was able to create a resource group name RG01. So if I go back to Azure portal and click on resource groups, you guys are gonna see it. So we're going to click on the resource group name. And now let's click on logs under settings. As you guys can see, this resource has no logs. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code. We are going to lock this resource group. And the command is going to be new AZ resource lock. So let's go ahead and tap it. New AZ resource lock. Now let's provide the lock name. So lock name, we're going to call it lock group. And the lock level is going to be cannot delete. So let's go ahead and tap it. Cannot delete. Now let's provide the resource group name. So resource group name is going to be this resource group name, RG01. And now let's press enter. Now let's confirm by tapping Y and press enter. Great. So if we go back to Azure portal and refresh here, you guys are gonna see the lock name, lock group we just created. So now if we go to overview and we're trying to delete this resource group, it's going to fail. So let's click delete resource group. And now let's provide the resource group name, RG01. And let's click delete, it's going to fail. Et voilà, delete resource group, RG01 fail. That's it for today, guys. If you like this type of content, please subscribe and like this video.